Okay, so first of all, I have a graph here with a legend down the side, and I want to increase the size of the legend boxes. And I'm going to be showing you three different hacks to be able to do this. The first one involves selecting the legend and increasing the size of the font. And you can see as we increase the size of the font, the size of the legend boxes also increases. Then I'm going to go to font settings and change it to a superscript with only a 1% offset and OK. And now you can see that the font size has decreased while leaving the legend boxes larger. And this also works if you change it to a subscript with only minus 1% because a 1% difference isn't really noticeable. However, a disadvantage of this method is that you are still limited as to the relative proportion of the size of the legend box and the size of the font. So I am going to undo this. And then the next method involves adding an extra data series. So I'm going to right click and select data and then add and then choose some series values. They're just going to be these numbers here. It doesn't really matter what they are and OK. And now you can see we have an extra data series here, series five. I am going to press Control 1 to open up the formatting bar. Then I am going to select Series 5 and I'm going to make sure it has no line and also no marker so it's completely invisible. Then I am going to select the legend once and then select Series 5 again. So I have just Series 5 selected. Then I am going to increase the size of the font for this series. And you can see as I do this, the size of the legend boxes increases, but the text for the other legend entries stays the same. So once I have done this, I need to change the font color to white so you can no longer see the extra data series. Then I need to go back to select data and move series 5 so that it is at the bottom and OK. And now the extra data series, series 5, is hidden on the bottom and you can see that the legend boxes are larger and the text is still the same size. Now this method has the advantage of you being able to completely control the size of the legend boxes by controlling the size of the font for the extra data series. However, it does mean that you have to have an extra data series and you have to hide it somewhere. So I am now going to undo this and remove this extra data series. And then the third method I'm going to show you involves drawing the legend boxes yourself with shapes. So I'm going to go to insert and shapes and then select the rectangle shape. And then while holding down shift, I'm going to draw the shape to make sure it's a perfect square. Then I'm just going to format this shape so it matches the legend box. So I'm going to remove the shape outline and then go to shape styles and change the fill so it's a pattern and I'm going to have it be this dashed pattern. Then I can move this so it goes over the top of the actual legend box and hides it. Then I can go control D to duplicate this shape and move it down here and change it to a solid fill. Then if I hold down control and select both of these shapes, I can align them to center to make sure they are perfectly lined up. Now to draw the cross down here, I'm going to insert shapes and I'm going to use the multiplication symbol. I'm going to hold down shift while I draw this to make it perfectly symmetrical. Then I'm going to decrease the thickness of the line to make it a bit more skinny. 
and then format this so it's the same color as the other cross. You can see at the moment, we can still see the other cross underneath. So in order to fix this, I need to add in another rectangle over the top of the little cross. And I am going to remove the outline on this and change the shape fill to white and then send this backwards. So now this shape is covering up the other cross. Now, if you can't figure out how to make your marker using shapes, you can use the snipping tool. So I'm going to search for snipping tool and then new. Then I am going to select one of the crosses and I'm going to save this. And now I can insert that picture. And now I have this shape here. I'm just going to delete this. And I can have this shape here and while holding down shift, I can increase it to whatever size I want it to be. Now, one final thing I want to show you. If you have decided to highlight one of your data points by making it a different color, like this, for example. This obviously won't be represented in the legend box, but you can fix this using the shapes. So I'm going to change this so that it is one centimeter, but it is only 0 0.5 centimeters wide. Then I'm going to press Control D to duplicate this shape, and I'm going to change this to a red fill. Then I can line this shape up here and if I hold down control and select both of them, I can make sure that it is perfectly aligned. Now, once you've gotten all of your shapes, you can select the graph and hold down control while selecting all of the other shapes. Then go to format and group and group them all together. And then I can move the graph and all of the legend boxes will move with it. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you three different methods for increasing the size of legend boxes in Excel. And that is everything.